Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here, serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck, and we have been getting questions. I Every year I get the same question, so I wanted to address it, and that is frost or ice or some sort of buildup on your coils. And first, I, I can only speak from what my experiences are here in Virginia. If you're in another part of the country and what I say is not necessarily lining up with what you have come to believe, then please comment below. But I want to say before we get into this, that if you are having something icing up or freezing up or, or frosting up in the summertime, most likely something's wrong. Uh, it could be something as simple as replacing your air filters, but it also could be something, you know, refrigerant issues or metering device issues, things like that. So if you're having frost or buildup or ice in the summertime, you might need to get a pro if replacing your air filters doesn't fix it. Now, let's talk about in the winter time. So if you have a heat pump system and you're seeing a little bit of frost or ice or a lot of ice, we're gonna go through that. So first, just to kind of explain to you what's going on, if you remember back in the old days, uh, some of you may not be young enough to remember this, I barely remember uh, my dad having a freezer that every now and then you would have to take a hair dryer and kind of thaw it out. So one of those old refrigerators or freezers and you'd get in there with a hair dryer and you would thaw it out and that would basically defrost it and get it working again. And as time has gone on, refrigerators and even heat pumps, what they have is a defrost. They have a defrost mode. Uh, refrigerators work a little differently. They have an actual heating element in there that will fall out that coil. But heat pumps, not air conditioners, but heat pumps that run in the wintertime, they will actually run in reverse. So they'll run in air conditioning mode, and that's what falls out that outdoor coil. So let's talk real quick. If you have searched this video, if you found it, and you have a little bit of frost on your coils, and you're just wondering what's going on, you know, and so on. The first thing I will say is if it's a little bit of frost or ice, I would not lose sleep about it. If it's something you want to have a pro take a look at, you certainly can. Uh, they can speed up the defrost modes, uh, making the system go into defrost cycle more often. But chances are, if your system is warming your home just fine, if you grab those copper line sets outside and they're hot or even warm, I would not be concerned with a little bit of ice. You know, it'll come and go. I also would not be concerned if one of the calls we get sometimes is you might even see like maybe a little bit of steam. Uh, you know, sometimes they'll go in defrost mode and folks will see kind of like a puff of steam come out of their heat pump. And they're like, oh my gosh, is this, you know, what's going on here? And that's just, again, that's the system going into defrost mode and it's thawing that buildup off of there. So if you're seeing a little bit of frost or a little bit of ice, I would not be con super concerned about that. If you are wanting to speed up your defrost modes and make it, you know, go into defrost mode more often, definitely get a pro to help you with that. There's no cookie cutter way that every system does it. Some systems it's a dip switch. Some systems it's a pin. Some systems it's actually in the programming of the thermostat or the communicating uh, technology. So definitely get a pro to do that. If it's someone that you're loyal to and you're in their maintenance program or whatever, they may not even charge you or they may just simply charge you for their gas and their trip out just to kind of speed up that defrost mode for you. When systems go into defrost mode, what they're designed to do is in a lot of cases, when it goes into air conditioning mode so that you don't get that cool air blowing in your house, uh, it'll actually turn on the heat strips or your backup heat of some type. And that is you know, going to make it to where you're not getting cool air blowing in your home in the middle of winter time. And also when it goes into defrost mode, the outdoor unit will kind of shut off. It may, you know, what it's doing is it's reversing. It's got a reversing valve in there and the fan motor will turn off. So we'll get folks, they'll say, hey, every now and then my system, it's humming. You know, I, I feel like it's working. I hear it humming, but the fan motor stops every now and then. Chances are it might be in that defrost mode 
and the reason that fan motor is not turning is because it's just thawing those coils out. If the defrost mode's not fixing it, it's just a little bit of ice and you're just like, er, you know, I, I, I don't want any ice. I don't want to see it at all. You know, I've had customers that, there's, that they'll say, well, I've got two heat pumps at my house. This one never frosts up and this one does and it's driving me nuts. Uh, we've actually had some systems that just simply moving the sensor so it's got a sensor on there that tells the, the control board, hey, it's frosting up here and you know it's time to go into defrost mode. Sometimes just relocating that sensor on another part of the coil will fix that issue. So that's just a little tip there that we have had before uh, the system goes into defrost. It doesn't run long enough uh, because that sensor thinks that the coil is now clear and just simply relocating that sensor to a spot that is still frosty that will make that defrost mode you know do what it's supposed to do if you know you're seeing a, a coil your outdoor unit is just a big old block of ice you know you there's no way air could be passing through it the, the ice is getting so thick that it's even might be even inhibiting the turning of the fan. That's a problem. There's a number of things that can cause that, a defrost board or sensor issue. Also low refrigerant could be causing that. So I know I've thrown a lot of information at you, but hopefully this helps. If, you're, if you found this video and you're seeing some frost, a little bit of ice buildup, I wouldn't lose sleep about it, especially if it doesn't get super bad. You know, you, you do wanna see it go away at some point. Uh, but maybe the system just hasn't gone into defrost mode yet. Maybe you're seeing it come and go. I would not lose sleep about it. We get that call every year. But, you know, you can, again, have it resolved by speeding up that defrost mode or moving the sensor. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. With all that said, if you're in our coverage area and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, give us a call. We'll give you a free estimate. We'll give you a great warranty, the best warranty, I think, in the area. And, you know, we'd love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area, but you're in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. And the whole idea behind this website is just like a CPA would help you with your taxes. This is going to help you with the purchase of, in a lot of cases, the third largest investment that you're going to make. Uh, behind your house, behind your car, a lot of folks, their heating and air system is the third largest investment. We put so much information on there. I, it's almost as if I wrote a book, decided not to, because as soon as I do, it's going to be outdated. New technology comes out, new all kinds of information comes out. And so this website is like a book, but it's constantly being added and changed. We even have a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from, things that you want to avoid in your pursuit of purchasing a heating and air system. And we just have this step-by-step -step guide. So newhvacguide.com. And lastly, please subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate your support. And stay tuned for more videos, tips, tricks, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you.